very dirty. Be careful, don't say that to me. But it means what it means. I will there. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Laka from Brazil and today I have a video request from one of my followers called Rafa Chines or Chines. Tell me if I'm saying your name correctly, Rafa. So he actually gave me a really cool idea to actually come with some of the verbs in Portuguese and tell some of the forms you can use this verb because you must have seen it if you're studying Portuguese for a while that one verb can be used for many, many different contexts. So today I chose one of those verbs that he actually asked me for and we are gonna work with the verb bater. Bater. So today we're gonna work with ways of using the verb bater. Let's take a look. But before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe here on my channel to continue checking the other verbs I'm gonna bring for you all. Give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying my content. And let's stop talking, let's go to the content now. Let's go. So the first situation in bater is bater. Eu bati in someone. Eu bati in alguém. I went there and punched someone. Eu bati in alguém. That's the first usage. Another way of using the verb bater. Eu bati o carro. So when you crushed your car into a truck, into a bike, into a motorcycle, into the wall, you just crushed your car, that's when you use the verb bater. Eu bati o carro. Eu bati o carro. Eu bati o carro. Eu bati o carro. The eu has this u sound, remember? Next, eu bati palmas, to clap your hands, bater palmas, eu bati palmas, eu bati palmas. And then I was arguing with someone and then I slapped someone in the face, eu bati na cara dela, eu bati na cara dela, eu bati na cara dela. You have so many dirty clothes all around your room. You're like, oh my gosh, what should I do? So you grab a bunch of your clothes and you put in the washer. I know there's birds here. Eu coloquei as roupas na máquina para bater. You put the clothes in the washing machine to punch each other? No, of course, you know, to wash itself. But in Portuguese, we use the word bater, that means washing the clothes in the washing machine. Eu coloquei as roupas na máquina de lavar. Não. Eu coloquei as roupas para bater na máquina de lavar. Eu coloquei as roupas para bater na máquina de lavar. Eu coloquei as roupas para bater na máquina de lavar. I'm really, really hungry on my breakfast, so I want to have pancakes. Eu vou bater uns ovos. Bater uns ovos. Bater uns ovos. Okay, so when you're mixing your egg, bater uns ovos, that's how we say in Portuguese, with the spoon or the fork or the whatever, or even the knife. When you are making omelets or something like that, you are batendo os ovos, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you a bonus bater. It, it's a dirty one. Just stay in the video to hear me out. When you are on a competition, and you, you're almost losing, but then you suddenly you make it, you just pass the other guy. Você bateu o inimigo. You succeed what the other guy did. So you won. You won. So you won in the, how can I say, in the position. So you were behind, but then you cross the lead guy. So você bateu o inimigo. Bateu o inimigo. If someone is visiting me, they knock on the door. Eu bati na porta. Eu bati na porta. And now the bonus for you guys. It's a very dirty, very slangish way of saying when you... Bati uma punheta. Very masculine way of saying dirty, dirty things. Very dirty. Be careful, don't say that to me. 
but it means what it means i wrote there all right so after that i'm going bye bye guys bye oh don't forget to subscribe on my channel to see more perks and pearls <laughs> and i'll see you next time give me a thumbs up if you like this video bye bye